Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I am Aaron. And I'm Kevin. And we're back. Another battle report. We got a great story for you tonight. A little one-off action. You ready? Mm -hmm. So Devil's Rock. A little planet hanging in between Lyran Commonwealth and the Free Worlds League space there. And uh, I'm coming. Doing a little raiding. Yeah. The The... <laughs> The High Lords of House Marek have deployed <laughs> uh, the 5th Atrian Knights, so we're coming in for a little raid. We're going to try to disrupt communications on the planet to keep the old Iron Fist on its heels. So, defending this planet will be the 7th Donegal Guard Ooh. making a comeback. This is exciting. One of your forces, but yeah. I will be guest playing them. I need to do a little Steiner Assault action tonight, oh. so I'm excited to defend this essential <sighs> asset yeah. of Lyran Space. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be good. So what do you got lined up? It's going to be a 7,000 BV match. Yep. Uh, we're going to be doing a Seek and Destroy mission. Uh -huh. So we haven't done this in a while, so we're trying to yeah. fine-tune the rules on this one. But it's essentially three objectives in my home's territory that he has to destroy. And he can do different combinations to win the match, essentially. But there's basically a high, medium, and a low-value target. Right. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, respectively, that are worth 100... Uh, Structure points, yeah. 75, 50, right. and respectively objective points that match 4, 3, 2. Yeah. So, based on that, you can kind of get any two almost um, and win the match. But I get the reciprocal points if I defend them. Right. Uh, but we also added in another wrinkle. We're going to be doing some light dust. So yeah. that's some weather <laughs> a little, effect. A little, a little dust in the to, to keep our sort of trend of... Yeah. Uh, Low visibility the, going yeah, to bring blind. in our double blind mm -hmm. radar effects and nano sensors, it. but uh, not much. It's going to be 30 inches, no other modifiers going on, so just a little bit extended range on uh, yeah that blind spot. Yeah, it'll it'll add a nice a nice touch of deployment uh, for sure. Speaking of which, uh, I've got across the board salt, a heavy, a medium, and a light. What do you got? Steiner fashion, I got two assaults, <laughs> defending, you know, light defense. Right. <laughs> two assaults, a medium, and a light. Right. All right, well, that sounds that sounds pretty evenly matched. It'll be pretty exciting, um, I think. Uh, a couple other things, I guess, to, to note. Maybe just one other thing. So we're going to try to kind of change up how we, you know, how we present our battle reports, right? Yeah. Um, so, guys, let us know in the comments after you watch whether or not you like it. We're going to make some subtle changes, see if you notice. Um, other than that, I think we're ready to get rocking and rolling here. All right, well, guys, stay tuned. We're going to head over to the Battle Grid and check it out, and then we're going to dive right into this raiding action that we've got planned for you. So stay tuned. That's all coming right up.
Devil's Rock. So Kevin placed his three objectives. We rolled for deployment and uh, we are moving straight on from the board edge. So a little change in what we have done in the past. You know, typically we place our mechs and then we, uh, you know, then we roll for initiative and move. Uh, this we just roll and moved right onto the board. So Kev, on your side, the Donegal Guard. So as you can see, we're sort of at the center of this horseshoe mountain range. Uh, two assaults sort of in the center, my medium and my light off to the side, just sort of a straight advance. Um, yeah. All right. And we just have... pointing out my objectives, right? So yep. this is the alpha. Right. So worth 100, the most. 100 CF. This is the beta. That's 75 CF. Okay, and then cool. the 50 CF, the gamma is the middle one. Very cool. All right. Yeah. So on my side here, uh, what we have going on, the Atrian Knights, we have uh, light and a medium out here on your right flank, my right flank, your left flank, <laughs> and uh, my assault and my heavy up here, uh, just getting ready to get in range of one of these three juicy targets. So we'll move on to turn two and see what happens. Okay, so the first shot of the game. So I lost initiative. Here's what happened. Uh, the Wasp moved up the field, up the hill. He's going to be firing his LRM-5 down at uh, objective gamma here so just trying to ignite those fuel tanks um, the rest of the lance not in range of anything quite yet um, my medium still uh, not in visual, visual range hiding behind the mountain but my marauder and my awesome revealed so i'm going to kick it off with my wasp i only need a four to hit so here we go got it uh, looking for uh, three for the cluster. Get it? All right, so that objective takes five points of damage. All right, so revealed. I have a locust, a Zeus, a hunchback, and a king crab. Mm. So these guys started flanking over to the left. We're doing a crisscross, and the two assaults are coming over to engage your assault and heavy, sort of meeting that force. Uh, but King Crab and Zeus have LRM racks. They're going to be firing over at that Marauder, hoping to hit on a 9 to start with the Zeus. Very cool. Now by rule, I'm not allowed to look at your sheets yet, Kevin. But I will, I'm, I'm curious to know, <laughs> did you take the Queen Crab variant? Only time will tell. Ooh. All right, so that is but a 9. That's your a legs hit. are blocked. Okay. So rolling for clusters first, and then right per per the generous hill there. Yeah, sorry. All right, what do we got everything. Oh boy. Hopefully all head. <laughs> Ho hopefully all left leg. That's what we're hoping for. Nines and fives. Well, all right. So uh, one of them deflects off the hill. However, ten points going into that left arm. Yep. King crab is up again, firing at that marauder. With an LRM 15, he needs a 10. A little tougher. No good. All right, still first blood here on the Marauder, moving into turn three. All right, so here we are, turn three, Atrian Knights lost initiative. Kevin, you're on form. Uh, so let's start with the Wasp. What did I do? So this Wasp was down in this area here. He jumped up on the hill. I wanted to make sure that I maintained that three mod, um, so I, you know, I jumped, but I didn't want to go too far and commit too deep into territory. He's going to be firing five LRMs down at that objective, at gamma objective. So I need a four to hit. All right, excellent. Now again, it's an immobile objective, so fairly easy for this guy to to land. So that's another five missiles, a full cluster, so five points of damage to that objective. All right, so the Wolverine now revealed, made his way up the hill. Uh, he is torso twisting in the face of that Zeus, firing his large laser through the sandstorm down at those fuel tanks at Gamma Objective. Uh, he will need a five to hit, so here we go. All right, nailed that. So eight more damage to that objective. All right, so the last two mechs, the big the big ones. Uh, so that Marauder, although he was uh, primed up and under fire 
last round. He trudged forward, made his way through this this jagged Badlands. Uh, he's going to be blazing two PPCs, one from each arm, into the communication center there, Objective Beta. So he needs fours to hit. I will be chain firing these. Uh, <laughs> Just because I, I'm playing the odds here, uh, can't afford, so one hits, two hits. All right, good. So that's going to be 20 points of damage to that objective. Um, now the awesome, my commander, this is a new sculpt, by the way, looking real good. Uh, this is Athena, a new a new add to the Atrian Knights. She will be firing three PPCs, uh, gunnery two, so it is an automatic hit, so it's going to be 30 more damage. Whew. 50 points of damage. Sound effects, maybe? Yeah, yeah, we'll add those in. Uh, so 50 points of damage to that objective in one turn. And that is all I've got. So, Kevin, you are up next, my friend. Ouch. All right, the Donegals. They continued in the, the pattern they were moving before. Locust, following the base of this ridge line here, firing up at that wasp with two medium lasers. Needs a 10 to hit. That's bold. No good. All right, the Hunchback continued working his way up that hill, firing the AC-10 at the Wasp. Won't be able to hit the legs, but can hit the upper body with a 10. No good. Zeus is up. Rico, the Captain of the Lance, firing over at that Marauder with a PPC and LRM-15. He needs just an 8. Nothing. All right, King Crab pursuing those he the heavy Marauder there, firing the same, an LRM-15 and a PPC. He needs a nine. Oh, the PPC. I know what variant that is. Uh, just the LRM-15. All right. Cluster roll. Two of them. All right, so 10 more into the Marauder. going to be a... I think that's right leg and left torso. Turn 3 damage report. Action is happening on the Free Worlds League. The 5th Atrian Knights making their advance against those critical mission objectives. The Marauder getting harassed by the King Crab and the Zeus taking PPC and LRM fire. Uh, the awesome Athena up to 3 points of heat and Broadsword up to 2 points of heat. On the Lyran Commonwealth side, the 7th Donegal Guards, they are sitting pretty. All mechs are clean, both on damage and heat. However, Beta Objective taking a crushing 50 points of damage, and Gamma getting plinked away at by that flanking Wasp. All right, we are back, Wargamers. It is turn four, uh, and already uh, the Atrian Knights pushing deep into the Donegal Guard territory. So uh, we, we've already made an on-the-fly amendment to the rules, haven't we? Yeah. So we opted to just double the CF value, keep this thing going, see see how it plays out. Um, it's benchmarking. It's benchmarking, For right? the campaign. It's true. It is true. So um, I lost match. initiative. I lost, <laughs> in <laughs> I lost initiative again, Kevin. So uh, the Wasp over here, once again, igniting his jump jets. Trying to uh, play a game of chicken with the Locust, but getting outmaneuvered. Uh, we'll be firing LRMs down into uh, the Gamma objective. I need just a, just a meager four to hit. So here we go. All right, got it. Need that cluster. Give me five points. All right, so another five points of damage to that objective. All right, so the Wolverine continuing his advance across this ridge line blazing forward at 86 kilometers per hour. Uh, torso twisting to the right, and instead of firing at the objective, I'm gonna fire at the Zeus. So Whoa. two medium lasers and an SRM-6. Um, my numbers aren't terribly favorable. I need eights to hit, so I will be chain firing, uh, but here we go. So medium laser one, it's a hit. Second medium laser, this is the one I really need here. Got it. All right, so the SRM and a medium laser hits. Rolling for clusters, I need threes. All right, not bad. So rolling for location. It's gonna be straight on the Zeus. All right, 
right, so we've got a little bit of left torso, a little bit of right torso, and a little bit of right arm. So this Marauder, uh, trying to put a little bit of meat between it and that King Crab, so <laughs> maneuvering here, and we'll be firing two PPCs down at the beta objective, so only need fours to hit. Here we go. All right, I got bold there, I group fired. Mm. So another 20 points onto that objective. All right, and the awesome is up last. Uh, she's gonna be firing at that objective again. Uh, automatic hit just because of that uh, immobile object penalty of minus four, it's pretty juicy. So it's another 30 points from the awesome into beta objective. So it's gonna wrap up shooting for the Atrian Knights. And Kevin, we're gonna take it into the Donable Guard for retaliation. Better hit this time. The Hunchback is gonna kick things off shooting at that Marauder. He kind of worked his way up the hill, uh, firing three of his mediums and that AC-10. Needs nine on the AC, 10 on the mediums. All right, so everything but two medium. That's a meaty, uh, meaty hit there, 15 points. I think it's a medium hit there. <laughs> Location. All right, it's gonna be left leg and center torso with the five. That locust is up. He came plowing up that hill, trying to flank that wasp, get him off that harassment duty. <laughs> Flipping the arms backwards, Ooh. firing into that left rear flank of the wasp with two mediums. All right. Oh, I need a eight. Just one of them. It's gonna be on the left side. And that's going to be a left arm. That's a good question. I, don't, I have <laughs> do I do not have the side table. I think it's the opposite side when you're in the yeah left side, right? So maybe left right arm. Right arm. All right. Well, there you have it. All right. Zeus is up. Zeus came running across that top of the hill, eyeing up the uh, awesome this time, Ooh. knowing that he's doing some some damage over there. Okay. So Rico, leader, calling a new target. It's gonna be firing a lot of heavy weaponry here. LRM-15, PPC, and a large laser. <sighs> Taking some heat for the team. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, I need nine on the LRM, I'm sorry, six on the LRM, seven on the PPC, and um, large laser. All right. Six and seven. Six made it, and that seven made it, but right. not the large laser. Wow. So clusters. Still a solid hit. Yeah. Oh, oh boy, 25 right. points. That's gonna force so a piloting check at a minimum. On the awesome, hopefully he falls, because I hate him right now. Whoa. Oh boy, headshot, all sorts of stuff happening. So a headshot in there, we got the Right arm, sorry, left arm. I know I keep flipping my sides. <laughs> and some yeah, uh, left, torso. left torso. Yeah, it's a solid shot against that awesome. Look out. All right. King Claws. The queen crab, I believe you call her. That is true. <clears throat> Trudging up slowly but surely towards that awesome. Also taking the captain's call and firing down that awesome with nearly everything, LRM-15, PPC, and one of the AC-10s. Also taking a little heat. Uh, so, crab needs sevens and eights. Seven on the LRM, eights on the rest. All right, and we're uh, just gripping it here. That was yeah. a, that's a scatter shot. What did you get on the LRM? A four. That, look, that looks pretty good. Except for the AC. Basically the same as before. That's true. Well, that's why I said it looks good, because the AC missed. Ah. All right, so 15 damage still. That's going to stack another, another, another penalty on that piloting check. All right. Wow. So, so now you get the left leg. Yeah. <laughs> and center left torso. Leg. Turn four damage report. It's getting savage out there. Prybar in his king crab and Rico in the Zeus doubling down on Athena in the awesome. 
getting a lucky headshot with a salvo of LRMs. Uh, her heat up to six points, still remaining conscious though and in the fight. The Marauder continuing to get battered, and the Wasp, a single medium laser, uh, dealing some internal structure damage, but luckily no critical hit there. Now on the Lyran Commonwealth side, the mechs are looking to be in great shape. Uh, that Zeus did take a face full of SRMs and medium lasers from the Wolverine, up to six points of heat and looking at a movement penalty. Uh, but the big news, Beta Objective is crumbling and Gamma Objective continues to take enemy fire. All right, guys, we are back. It's turn five. Uh, the Atrian Knights lost initiative yet again. Kevin just back in uh, in full form here. So I had to move first, um, and I started with my Wasp. So he was up on the hill. He continued just sort of bouncing down the hill, uh, so jumped again. And uh, looks like the Locust decided to leave him alone, which is exciting. I'm going to be torso twisting and firing my LRM-5 down there at Gamma Objective. So, uh, I only need a 4 to hit. Again. Here we go. Got it. Looking for a 3 or better. Got it. So another 5 points to Gamma. Alright, so we're going to get on the other side of the map here. Athena in her awesome. Going to be cooling down a little bit, just firing 2 PPCs over at Beta Objective. So, need 3s. Uh, this time around. So we're going to group fire these guys up. Whew. It's uh, getting close there. But 20 points of damage, screaming in. All right, so back with the Marauder here, uh, turning his attention at that Zeus. So uh, this guy's name is Broadsword, by the way. Very cool. Fabled pilot in the 5th Atrian Knights. Uh, never it's got heard a, of him. Never, well, classic Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's Gunnery 3. Um, <laughs> who's this guy? <laughs> Brawl sword? Um, I need, <laughs> listen, all right. Uh, so I need fives and sixes. I need a five on the PPC, six on two medium lasers. Here we go. Hoping to deal some damage. Looking for those side torsos. Battleetics tells me that's where I want to shoot those, uh, those Zeus's. <laughs> all right, so everything hits. Looking for uh, sixes and eights. Here we go. Whoa. Not bad. So uh, 10 to the CT and 10 to that left torso. All right, last up, we got Sweeper and the Wolverine twisting, firing up at that Zeus. Needs sevens across the board, two medium lasers, and that trusty SRM6. Uh, so I'm in the right side arc. So we'll see what we can do here. Again, needs sevens. Not bad. So that's a full house. Rolling for clusters here. Everything. And All right, so we are in the right side. Here we go. All right, well, we'll figure that one off <laughs> off camera. <laughs> All right, starting things off with the Donegal Guard is the King Crab. He managed to flank the Wolverine. It's a first. He was a little surprised by it. <laughs> So he got excited and he changed targets. He's going to try to fire into the back of that Wolverine with a PPC and two AC-10s. Oh boy, wow. Um, Could be painful, but the PPC is is not very good at that blunt range. What kind of so numbers you got? Nine and six. Okay. Six on the ACs. Well, unfortunately, that's a full house. I am silent. Rear arc. Silent and in, in, in despair right now. CT, please. Okay. Some torso action. Left torso. Right torso. Alright. Locust came trudging across the hill. Gave up on that dancing wasp. And firing two mediums down at the marauder. Trying to join the team. He needs eights. Just wants to be relevant, Kev. Yeah. Hoping he can steal a kill, you know? No good. All right, Hunchback coming across the top of the hill as well, converging on that Marauder, firing everything he's got. He needs sevens on, a seven on the AC-10 and eights for the four mediums. Oh my. 
Just two of the mediums. Well, it makes up for the tragedy. Yeah. That is the, that is the Wolverine. So a right torso, sorry, left torso, and a left leg. Left yeah. leg. All right, Captain Zeus, Captain Rico. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> Closing out, that's because he's recon. He's supposed to be undetected. I uh, gotcha. Classic uh, style move. <laughs> firing just a PPC and a large, trying to keep that heat manageable for the moment into that Marauder, but he's got a pretty good chance. Four and five. All right. For the PPC with the four. All right, and there it is. All right, going to so. be some right leg and right arm. Turn five damage report. It is a sad day in the Free Worlds League. That King Crab pry bar sensing an opportunity diverts off the primary target, delivers two auto cannon 10 shells straight through the back of that Wolverine. One of them finds the SRM-6 ammo. That mech blows sky high. Uh, meanwhile, the Marauder continuing to get pummeled by the rest of the Lance. Armor is holding up fairly well. However, internal structure is exposed on the right leg, though no actuator hits quite yet. On the Donegal Guard side, things still looking pretty well in hand. The Zeus uh, absorbing a very crushing and final blow from that Wolverine, still at six points of heat. However, Beta Objective hanging on by a thread, and Gamma starting to really feel the pressure from that onslaught of the Wasp. The seventh pummeling the attackers, but it may be too little too late to win this mission. All right, here we are. Believe it or not, turn six already. So it's getting it's getting pretty toasty in here, Kev. We got um, to that pivotal fifth. The, yeah, I know. Yeah, well, the pip, the pivotal quintessential fifth. Yeah, it, it definitely went your way this time. Um, I will also say initiative is going your way as you won yet again. Did I win at all this game? Maybe just the first the first turn? round. Yeah, first turn when it was completely useless. So let's talk about this guy. He's like my MVP over here. Um, he just continues to bounce around like a freaking gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> just a little fly. <laughs> Uh, so he's now over here by Alpha Objective. I may kick it just to spite you, even though I have no uh, intention of actually destroying it. Firing a medium laser and an LRM-5 down at Objective 1. So I need a, um, a 3 on the LRM and a 5 on the medium laser. Wow. Well, you know, weirder things have happened. Maybe I can at least land the cluster. No. No. So two points of damage, <laughs> uh, two points of damage, so rub salt in the wound. A little uh, sting. A little sting. Right there, two points on objective three there on Gamma. Pivotal moment for the Atrian Knights. Athena, Lance Commander, sighting down Beta Objective. Three PPCs going hot. It is an automatic hit. That objective is destroyed. <laughs> Some sweet objective points here. Yep. Now, um, that leaves us with just needing to take down Gamma. gamma. Right. If we take down Gamma, we'll at least walk away with a minor victory here, which is pretty good. But it would cost, Kevin. <laughs> would, would cost. cost. <laughs> it would cost. Um, so we're going to fire. We're going to move right into the Marauder. Uh, the Marauder basically moved up on the hill here, trying to... Block that king crab, just use the hunchback as a body shield. Uh, so we'll see. I need threes on these PPCs. Here we go. All right, so I get them both. So that's 20, <laughs> 20 points of damage. So that objective down to, I believe, an even 50 construction right. factor means one more healthy salvo of PPCs. Probably could, next round. We, we'll see. <laughs> All right, but moving on. Again, more vicious retaliation on the way from the Donegal Guard. Smoke billowing from the objective. Exploding into shrapnel from those PPCs. Donegal radio down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it's time to retaliate. So we're going to start with that king crab. All right. Ran up onto the hill, turning, trying to get that awesome with a 
healthy salvo of PPC and two AC-10s. Love the king, the queen crab, I should say. Queen crab. All right, so crab needs eights for all this. All right, here we go. Oh no. That is a no. that is a lucky day. It's a oh, lucky day. No. All right, the locust. Flipping his arms, shooting into that marauder needs eights. Whoa, got him, and destroyed an objective in the process. Thank you. It's a minor victory. All right, so double medium laser. I believe that is in the uh, the right side arc here. Yes. Left, left side arc. Yeah, right. My my right, your left. All right, a f six and a five, which would be left leg and left arm. All right, Captain Rico, looking to punch a hole in that Marauder, came up, uh, withdrew a little bit, walked backwards, firing a PPC and large laser at that Marauder. Wow, it's a so five and a six. He's really going, uh, getting hot over here, huh? Oh man, unbelievable. You have just hit the lottery, sir. <laughs> that is a that is lucky day for the Atrian Knights indeed. Good old Hunchy. <clears throat> Ran up right beside that Marauder, alpha striking, torso twisting. Need sixes to hit. But based on performance so far, sixes are a tough number. <laughs> I feel for you. AC 10, four mediums. I'm earning a little heat, so this better be worth it. Oh, man. Oh. Well, luckily the AC hit and one medium, but man, the piloting is... Everyone's just so excited about that. Wolverine oh, that giant... Down. Yeah, that and the giant that building behind them just blew up, you know? I mean, it's... Uh... All right. But yeah, that ammo hit on arc. the Wolverine. Yeah, that is classic Kevin right there. Quintessential well, CT Kevin. with the 10, and then it's I got left a arm, yeah. left arm. Yeah, well, we'll see. That Marauder's going to be forced to take a piloting check. It uh, hasn't been a walk through the park. However, I think these guys dodged a little bit of a bullet, or dare I say, a, a few, PPC. A PPC. <laughs> Turn six damage report on the Atrian Knight side. A little bit of luck. That King Crab with the jitters after killing the Wolverine completely whiffs on Athena in her awesome. Uh, the awesome up to four points of heat. The Marauder, though, continues to get battered. What a tough mech. Just soaking it left and right. Both arms hurting. Both legs in rough shape. Torso sections have seen better days, but this mech still very much in the fight. On the seventh side... Uh, things are very different. Not a single mech was targeted here, so no change in status. However, after that King Crab whiffs, Athena sights down Beta Objective and blows that communication array sky high. Broadsword and Buzz now focusing on Gamma. Not looking so great. We're back. Turn 7 on Devil's Rock. Smoke billowing across the battlefield. The Atrian Knights won initiative at a critical time. Kevin, what are the Donable so Guards doing here? So disappointing. <laughs> My last round was just, I gotta make up for it big time. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna survive past this round, as far as the objectives go. The Hunchback, we're starting up there. He basically just pivoted in place, knowing, knowing that that Marauder had to make a decision. And the Marauder kind of played the same hand, backed up. So he's going to be firing over at that Marauder with everything he has again, the old Alpha Strike. All right. Not so easy, though. Fives and sixes, five on the AC, sixes on the med that, uh, you know, medium light show. I feel like that should be easy. Should be, but there we go. I'll take it. Ouch. Yeah. 30 points coming in from that Hunchback. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Critical hit. Uh, so, you want to do the floater first, or no, let's, let's tally up that, and then I'll roll the floater with a separate dice. Or All right, let's see. All right. All so right. Floating critical on the right arm, and then it looks like we've got some right leg, some more right arm. Some spread. Yeah. A lot of right. A lot of right arm. Ouch. 
Locust up next came trucking down that hill. Tried to fire in the back of that Zeus, but the Zeus got a last minute turn on him. I'm sorry, the awesome, not the Zeus. Uh, they all so, look alike. Yeah. <laughs> all those 80 tonners. There's that Locust though, gonna be firing on that right side of the awesome with two mediums. Needs nines, not an easy one, but I'll probably make this with, you know, with room or not. The old queen crab, a little bit annoyed with that last round so hopefully we'll make up for it here planted sitting still torso twisting trying to unload on that awesome with two acs and a ppc needs sixes oh my it's just not fair i don't even like that well it's still 20 points coming in there's a piloting check ejecting yeah that could be I'm not really sorry. I'm pretty happy, actually. <laughs> oh my god, that is another instant death. Alright, well, luckily this is just, I believe, a training simulator, so all of these pilots will, uh, will survive. <laughs> However, in the final moments uh, before her cockpit is ignited by PPC fire, uh, that awesome is going to target Gamma Objective with three PPCs. It's an automatic hit, so it's going to be 30 damage right off the top. Um, and so the Wasp and the Marauder also moving in position for shots on Gamma. Hopefully, I can take them out. Now the Wasp on this side uh, stood still. Um, so he's over here. He kind of just planted. He's just been kicking, you know, the Alpha objective. But uh, it's an automatic hit there as well because, of, you know, again, he's stationary and, uh, and the, the, the immobile target penalty. So that's going to be... Uh, two automatic hits. I am going to roll for the cluster. So that's another 10 damage to that objective. I've got the Marauder firing. Yeah, maybe. The Marauder firing. Um, going to be targeting, again, Gamma objective. I need three. So I'm firing a large laser and a PPC. Here we go. So both of those hit. I do believe that is destroyed. Turn seven damage report on the Free Worlds League side. Ouch. Most of the Steiner Lance targeting that Atrian Knight's command mech and Prybar redeeming himself, firing a PPC off that finds the head of that awesome Athena able to rip off one last alpha strike before pulling on that eject lever and getting out of that mech. The Marauder getting targeted by the Hunchback, has its right arm blown off, losing two weapons, and that leg miraculously still working. On the 7th Donegal Guard side, the mechs being ignored in favor of Gamma Objective, taking four PPCs, a large laser, and that relentless assault from the Wasp. It finally explodes, granting those knights at least a minor victory. Burn, Atrian Knights. Burn. <laughs> On Devil's Rock, things did not go so well for the Atrian Knights, although they will claim a minor victory per the objective points. If this were a campaign mission, I would be in tears right now. Toast. Um, you know, we sort of talked about how this would how this would unfold, and we'll talk about that in the after action report. But for now, two objectives down. What cost, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> An awesome and a Wolverine down, a Marauder, likely to not get off the board alive here. So that is how this wraps up. Guys, there it is. Seven thousand points wrapped up. That was yeah. a good fight. It's a good, it's a good brawl. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun mission. It was, it was interesting to sort of test it out. Um, 
you know, when we originally designed this, we were talking about it, we had sort of set it up for campaign play. Um, and I think it, I think it's pretty balanced for campaign play. Yeah. Because remember, you know, you can't just, you know, win, right? You have to actually get your mechs back off the board or get into position to retreat. Um, so I would have taken some casualties. I probably would have taken out two of the objectives for a minor victory on turn five. Right. And a minor victory, you know, may not do it in a campaign. It may not get you ahead, right? So, well, especially if you had lost what you had lost in the process. Oh, I would have been devastated. That's yeah. totally not worth it, right? I mean, yeah. right. Ugh. Heartbreaking. So, Heartbreaking. A Pyrrhic victory. Um, <laughs> I still feel good about it. I, I got to toast some mechs. Yeah, I mean, you clearly won the battle. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, this is like one of those ones where I can be like, I'm winning the war, but like, you yeah. kicked the crap out of me for sure. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I could not. Or vice versa. You won the battle, but I'm winning the war. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. I don't know. It depends. It depends on what my repair But I, you never know. I mean, I had a lot of lucky shots too. Two, two that were. I hope the. I mean, I feel like the luck is coming back around to Kevin. We saw an. Well, like, I never lost it really. An I ammo just... critical, <laughs> double headshot. It was. This was a brutal. This was a brutal. Uh, yeah. Butt whooping. I did have some bad rounds though. You did. King Crab whiffed it once. <laughs> I think the Zeus whiffed it once. The Zeus is uh, just doesn't do it for you. Yeah. But they weren't easy. You know, I think they were like on sevens and eights, which aren't exactly gimmies, but still. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I like the mission. I do. Yeah. You know, uh, as the attacker, you know, um, you have to focus the, uh, the objectives down, right? Those, uh, those buildings. Right. Uh, but while you're doing that, you know, you don't get to retaliate. You don't, I don't get to wear you down at all, right? Yeah. So as you're wearing me down, you get that first kill, you know, you're immediately at a tactical disadvantage from, you know, the movement, right, perspective. Uh, you're bringing less firepower to bear. And then once you finish off the objective, you know, you're down three to four, or in my case, two to four, I mean, you're screwed, right? All of your mechs were fresh except for the Zeus. Yep. Um, so it's, it's an interesting mission. You know, we, like we said, we doubled up the CF in this one because we weren't playing campaign style. To make it style. more fair, yeah. That's right, and I, and I would recommend, you know, I think we were talking about this afterwards, like if you're just playing this as a one-off outside of the campaign, definitely double the CF, right? Yep. I think that made it, up, that made it more fun, for yeah. sure. Otherwise, you know, they're, they're, you're not, you don't have the same right. risk. Because even at that double CF, if I didn't whiff those middle rounds, yeah, I think that's where I could have turned it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean the the queen crab. Because I just needed just one more, one boom. more round, <laughs> and that marauder was hanging on by a thread. Right, that's what I mean. If I had, if I, if I had one more round to go, I think that marauder would have been toast, and that wasp would have had to mm. save the day. <laughs> could have. <laughs> you know, it would take like six turns to gun him down. Right, right, yeah, or one. Just jumping around, yeah, you know, one lucky all, shot. Right, yeah, that's all it takes. I mean, I think I think the locust blew its arm off practically, yeah. you know, which is, that says something. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good. I think we're ready for another campaign. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's time. You know, we got the weather. I feel good about the weather and the double blind. I think that's, it's, it's good. It's ready yeah. to be integrated. Um, so you can destroy, tuned. Yeah, I feel like it's good. Yeah, I feel like it's balanced. You know, we went into it, we weren't really sure, but I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's what should that. we do? I don't know. What do you guys want to see? What forces should be in the next campaign? Leave it in the comments. We'll uh, we'll take it under advisement. Um, but other than that, guys, I guess that's it. Huh? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Great game as always, sir. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We love it. Uh, leave us a comment. You know, yeah. like we said about the campaign, about this bat rep, um, and uh, stay tuned for more. Always more coming from Death from Above War Gaming. Have a good night, and we'll catch you soon. And if you're going to be at PAX, we'll catch you there, maybe. Ooh, exciting. Yes, PAX. Unplugged.